Good morning, everybody. It's Christian from Synergy Education with the four majors and announced update for the 4th of December 2013. Okay, Wednesday, getting closer to non from peril, guys. Wednesday today, there's a lot of news out today. Um, we started off this morning with uh, negative figures for the GDP quarter and quarter figures for Australia, and um, we subsequently seen a very bearish engulfing candle indeed after a number of days, almost a full week of indecisiveness or indecision or consolidation at the underside of the 23 sorry the 38.2 level here you can quite clearly see and if you are looking to trade Australia against US dollar I would suggest you start looking for uh, shorts looking for sell options here if this bear candle confirms to be bearish engulfing by the end of play today we should be looking for excuse me the weekly lows here um, which is the lows we saw back in early August of this year and we're looking in excess of 100 odd pips, 190 odd pips to that level so Australian news not all that great to start with um, then this morning we have a lot of news for the European section we have the Spanish service PMI results coming out at uh, quarter past eight this morning GMT followed by the Italian services PMI results we we would like to be expecting or well, they're forecasting a slightly higher figure for the Spanish one the Italians as well so if we do see growth for those two two um, countries it'll be great we all know that Spain has been through a lot of turmoil as well as Italy recently um, then we we have the important figures out for service PMI results for sterling GDP uh, sorry uh, for the UK market and then we have uh, retail sales sales, man, uh, sales on month figures um, then this afternoon we have the all important non-farm payroll or non-farm uh, employment change ADP employment change figures and expecting a, a massive expansion there from 130k 130,000 previously to 172,000 this forecast so very very that's quite a big jump of in excess of um, good what are we looking at there uh, 42,000 so that's going to be quite important then this afternoon for the Canadian market we have the all-important trade balance figures and then the overnight rate the interest rates announcement for Canada they don't expect any change there it's sitting at one percent they don't expect any change uh, that's followed by the rate statement for the Bank of Canada uh, amongst all that we have the trade balance figures for also for the US market uh, we have new home sales figures we also have the non manufacturing PMI results for the US market and then we have the beige book and the uh, well, sorry we have the crude oil inventories followed by the beige book this evening at seven o'clock GMT onwards so a lot of news this, this afternoon in particular both for the Canadian market as well as the US if you are trading any of those I suggest um, just keeping an eye on on, on the the volatility on those particular uh, those two two um, currencies in particular um, this morning we have Spanish Italian if you are trading euro we are seeing if you look at the euro chart daily here we've seen a lot of consolidation recently uh, around the 23.6 for weekly level um, the the indicator box of here is primarily telling me I should be looking, still looking for longs long term my monthly week daily and four hours still looking upside however you can see the intraday negativity um, and the R squared is complementing that negativity um, intraday and you can see we're clearly not making new highs and if we're not making new highs then prices are either going to be consolidative or she's going to start looking to make to new lows so long as she finds resistance above uh, the, the current level so got to go above that current high Ideally, we've got to be trading well above the 1361.97 and change mark. Get above that to a nice bullish engulfing candle. That would really tip the boat in our favor for, for further longs with market sentiment, long term market sentiment. Uh, at the moment, now you can see on the four hour time frame, the last 20 hours in particular, we've seen a lot of indecision, a lot of shooting. Oh, in particular, almost a, a full a good eight hours ago, we had a, a shooting star formation at a price of one resistance level in the shape of both not the, res, the resistance highs on our daily, but also the 23.6 on our weekly FIB. So, very, very important. Now, we, if this is to remain bullish, we do need to see higher highs. If we don't see it going into non from peril, then we could see euro starting to falter now at a major support and resistance level. On to sterling, we've got those all important service PMI results out this morning. But if you look at the last two days in particular, we've seen hesitation now at the monthly FIB, which is the 38.2 level. Two shooting stars. This uh, yesterday's candle also uh, um, negative in its in its in its shape. However, you can see engulfing the prior uh, negative candle. And the most important thing is it's not making lower lows. It's actually consolidative. 
and you can see that the candlesticks are still very much upside you can see the indicator box of here still telling me my long-term trend is still very much positive however intraday i'm starting to get a lot of negativity as price has been consolidative at this major support and resistance level fib level here in the shape of the 38.2 monthly in order for us to see any further upside i've got to see a bullish engulfing candle and i mentioned uh, a day ago if to, to, to cancel this negative sentiment candle here that we had i need to see a bullish engulfing yes yesterday's candle engulfed the prior body however still a lot of wick to the upside still a lot of indecision more selling contracts at the end of play than than buying purchase uh, or purchasing contracts we want to see purchasing contracts and we do need to see uh, price actually closing above the 38.2 monthly you can see we actually traded the past two days we've seen price trading above that level however at the end of play not closing higher and that's what we want if price closes higher we should see the outcome should be a nice bullish engulfing candle that would so master say that we should be looking higher and then we can start tackling our next high points which is a, for me around about the 1672 and change mark so from the monthly to that level you're looking in excess of 300 pips so more than enough profit to be made to the upside it's got to get above it these two candles of here are starting to look very indecisive yes it's still painting a picture and it's still consolidative but if we don't break or we're not making new highs then we're starting to look consolidative like we've done here in the past and that could actually lead to negativity short term so very very important there you also notice first frank daily we've seen price moving lower uh, euro is moving, moving higher so the US dollar Swiss franc should be moving in the opposite direction and that's clearly stated here on the indicator box if you looked at euro earlier this was all pretty much blue and the intraday was negative here it's all red long term and <laughs> it's all positive intraday so it's very much complementing uh, euro in fact and you can see on the last couple of days on the last week in fact we've seen a lot of negativity on this particular pair and yesterday's candle this bearish engulfing candle now cancelling out all the support level that we've seen through here recently so making a swing low and the swings are in the favor of the downside you can see the long term sentiment for this particular pair swing lows and if we are making swing lows then we should be looking for further negativity all our indicators are pointing south so we should be looking for opportunities to 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 enter and then to trade to the downside and likely our long-term target would be uh, this area around the bottom here roughly around mid october of this year and where price is trading to that level you're looking in excess of 137 pips uh, take away your spread etc you still got enough on the table to make a decent return on time invested so yeah be vigilant just be wait uh, we've got a lot of news out this afternoon for the u.s market so is that going to actually factor into price action this afternoon it might very well do so but uh, just be vigilant here look for uh, the 50 percent retracement on my daily fib here to actually become new resistance prior support through here you can quite clearly see then the bearish engulfing candle closed lower now we can see uh, the US dollar rallying against the Swiss franc overnight however the 50 percent which happened to be prior support becomes a new resistance and then we can target the downside for the remainder of this week last year the US dollar Japanese yen been very very bull trend after the breakout of that squeeze pattern that massive wedge that we've seen for a number of months in fact we've got about the monthly fib here and then it's been plain sailing uh, indicator box very much telling us we should be looking for upside for our candle uh, for our time frame is the one that's only really not working against price at the moment now but you can see the bearish engulfing candle that we saw yesterday on the daily um, as we head higher into the weekly fib which is our april highs you can see price has been very uh, has pulled back sharply and the closer we get to the level the more um, negative uh, well, the more um, consolidation you're likely to see as people start to close their long-term contracts or buying up uh, contracts and then we should start seeing a lot more selling contracts being taken up and then we'll see a lot more consolidation we might all you need to see now is a pullback you can see that the rmo is very much positive awesome is still very much and but dark green here on the, in the on the hard right edge as prices start to consolidate rsi is well overbought uh, it's not telling us we should see a change it's just telling us that we are we should be expecting some sort of pullback whether it be a shallow knee-jerk reaction one or a major that remains to be seen uh, in terms of fundamentals and stuff but we have a weekly major support and resistance level above us so we have to be well aware of that and if you are taking any trades into today intraday uh, in the direction of the upside we've got to be vigilant that there is going to be a lot more risk on the table because as we get closer there'll be less likely for people to start getting into it so you'll be finding there'll be less volume upside volume and more pressure for consolidation and negativity and you are put likely to put more risk in your favor because you're not getting a lot of volume to 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 trade with okay so looking at these overall we have a lot of news out today guys especially for uh, the u.s market if you are trading cad and please be vigilant and so let's have a look at the canadian um, indicator box on the daily 
let's just go and have a look at that pull that down you can see that um, the, the beauty of this particular chart if I go to my monthly now you can quite clearly see that on the monthly we've had resistance here to 2009 2010 we had further resistance in 2011 uh, further resistance here from 2013 onwards and uh, a, a nice very strong support level has been formed we need we do need to see that this month in particular breaching this prior major support and resistance level higher the fib level higher the 23.6 level which will be the break for the first time in as much as four years which is a very very strong uh, signal for the u.s market or u.s do dollar you can see the actual indicator box over here is telling me i should looking for highs is the interest rates announcements today uh, going to help uh, factor where price moves near term if we don't see a change then we should see the u.s dollar continue to to move higher but we do need to see a nice bullish engulfing close higher than the 23.6 um, by the end of play of, uh, on this month in particular to see any further uh, movement to the upside. But you can see trading above the institution moving average on our weekly for the first time in as many years, which is a great sign. So we should be looking for further longs for the US dollar against the, the CAD for the US dollar. So just be vigilant. Pick your time to get into it. Um, on the daily here, you can quite clearly see we are seeing higher highs. We have seen for a number of months now. But we've got to be well aware that our monthly fib, which is not too far away, still a healthy 62 pips away. Look for a decent entry and then trade it to that level and um, see if you can be profitable from it. Otherwise, that's it for today, guys. Short and sweet. Please, if you are using this template, back it up with some money management rules. And most importantly, adhere to the rules that are required for you to trade it. And it's so, so important. It's very mechanical in its approach. And hence the reason why we are a lot more profitable from it, because we're taking that emotion out of it. So understand the rules apply them correctly apply it with, uh, and back it up with sound money management rules and you have a winner okay but you have to be very very rule orientated and you have to be very vigilant okay other than that i'm gonna leave you with that have a fantastic trading day and i'll catch you guys first thing tomorrow morning until then you guys trade serenely